All right. Oh, I'm getting sand in my nose. You fucking helmet wearing piece of shit. You you can't relate to this. Why don't I have a helmet? You're getting me the helmet upgrade the second we're done with this shit. <laughs> What's up? Queebles! Queebles ahead! Down for some talking practice? These guys suck! They just eat up scrap metal! And trust me, scrap metal tastes like shit! I know! <laughs> you can just kill these guys! Just kill them! I'm nice and loose! Oh yeah, you can kill these guys! Nobody cares! They're just like, you know, guys to shoot! Good one, bounty hunter! Sure, you can navigate through this. Uh, wait, what's that sign? Sandworms. Oh shit, that's right. Okay, yeah, we we, we got to be really careful. You won't be needing this. Damn, this crashed ship. I'm telling you, full of ghosts. normal on Port Turin. You know, this asteroid's always been a lawless land, but now that the G3 set up shop, it's even worse. Woo! Oh, I think that's Old Town in the distance. You know, that was the first settlement out here, pre-G3. We gotta pass through there to get to Douglas. I heard scavengers used to suck in freighters with a big magnet and loot their cargo. You know, I mean, this place is fucked, you know, Port Turin. Here we are. Whoa, whoa, careful! Hey, hold on. You know, maybe we can use that to our advantage. without saying but the you know that green stuff is toxic and will dan it will hurt you so don't go in it into it A big desert adventure, you know? It's a bounty hunter's way, you know? How, how you liking it? Seriously, I'm getting sick of the desert. Can we just move on to the next bit, you know, please?
Let's get ready for supper, dude. I'll be ready for it. Bitch, I can't wait for you to see Drag Town. I only got to go a couple of times, and the G3 had me chipped so I couldn't actually do anything. So I don't really know if it's fun or not. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't I couldn't be a, a, a Drag Town critic because I really don't remember or, or or know anything really about Drag Town. I don't know. I don't remember. There we go. Oh, thank God, I missed the action. All right, I can see Old Town. It's just, just across this beams. bridge. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Support beams have their spot, but they are not the end-all do-all of uh, construction. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, uh, uh, I'm gonna chime in here. I'm gonna say, fuck Whoa, you. whoa, whoa, wait, tough whoa, guy. Whoa, hey, whoa. hey, look, walk wherever you want. This is a fucking mac and cheese, brother. Hey, construction don't, don't site. We ain't done us. here. Hey, but you gotta be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hey, calm down. What the hell? How do you want to handle this? Hey, what's Maybe your big we deal, just, you? you know, move past Are you them. Kidding? Like, you, you, you just walk bro. up into a Mac and Cheese oh, Brothers construction site here. like you're some sort of fucking, fucking Jesus shit. Christ and just fucking hey, walk around like you own the place. There's a goddamn hey, bottomless hey, pit hey, over easy, here, easy, asshole. Easy. You think you could survive whoa, that? Whoa, whoa. Falling through a fucking bottomless pit? Hey, whoa, whoa, you, you just kill all. I can't believe this. What, what, what's your... You come... Well, great. You killed all the weird construction guys. You know, we're free to move along now like we were before we killed them. You know, I can crawl without your help, by the way, you know, just in case you were wondering. You know, it's obviously a lot easier if somebody's gonna carry me around, but I could crawl, and I'd be just fine with that, you know? Back on Gatlas, we used to have gasoline and horses carry us around everywhere, and yeah, it was fine. And then we made robot ones, and wonderful.
putih. this hey nice work you know it wasn't a hard thing but ni nice work Move through this place and we'll we'll get to Douglas. Hey, you whippersnappers looking to get into Old Town? Hey, we should talk to this guy. I calls him like I sees him. Howdy there, partner. Welcome to Old Town. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? So, uh, well, you know, tell us. What, what, what is this place? Well, I just told you it's called Old Town. Back when settlers first landed on this asteroid, we formed a little trading post free from galactic law, where anyone could come and do as they please. Nowadays, Dragstown steals all the thunder, but for a few years there, Old Town was nothing to sneeze at. All right, so Old Town is the old town, and Dragstown is the, the, the new one? Old Town has heart. Used to serve a real purpose for the people. Drag Town is just a pit of debauchery and drugs. The Concern G3 Cartel. And how do we get to Drag Town? It's, it's, it's been a little bit for me. Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop an old town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Drag Town entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Oh, well, thanks, Grundy. That's all wet, Grundy. And of course, opening the gates my home. Have a good time in there, yo. <laughs> that party lies like a weird old scary fire. I just stand around and tell people that. What's up there, dog? We're looking for Douglas. What, like G3 Douglas? Uh... You good, Dr. Hunter? This is it, I'm gone. Here, I'll, I'll prepare the meal. What's up again? Hey, I, I can't let anyone in right now. There's too many recruits causing trouble in town. I get in trouble when that happens, so I'm gonna keep the gate locked until they stop or get killed. Wink, wink. Are you telling us to kill them? Whoa, I didn't say that. I just said wink, wink, and okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So go kill them, and, and I'll let you through. I know what the answer is like, like, I've died. Oof, more drunk recruits.
Let's get it. Let's paint this town. What the color their blood is? Quantity over quality, I guess. You in my pit hole full of deadly monsters. Speaking of hypothetically, I'm willing to bet that's not the last of them. I'm afraid. I, I'm afraid. Yes, yes, of course I'll bury you. Yes, I love you more than my glove shot's ready. If only they were all this week, you know? Uh, my name's Kento. You probably have heard of me. I go to all the town hall meetings and complain about all the G3 recruits coming up to Old Town and causing a ruckus every day. I'm pretty famous. Oh! Take out the trash! Oof, I, I got too confident. I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Hell alone, you G3 scum! You hate to see it. Look at this. Some G3 trouble going down. They just can't help themselves, can they? Look at this. Just trouble. Can we really clean this town up? Ha! Shall we head down to Drag Town now? That's a little cowboy lingo. Thank you so much for saving me. Oh my God! Thank you. Oh, uh, but you know what? I can't... You did it. The town's all cleaned up. Very rude you of did you it. to just the town's... breeze past me like that. But I get it. I'm just a gate guard. Who cares about me? for glory then join the g3 cartel my name's douglas the g3 chief of training and torture ignore that second bit for this ad this was just about the training well goddamn, that there there's douglas right there uh, that's how you know we're in the right spot okay douglas again this ad is about the torture uh, the last one was about joining the g3 but this one is about how i love torturing stone is part of the mother of the 
Who needs items? Mothers Against Violence. Oof, well, that, that falls in our you know, favor, everyone huh? Walks we away we're not going to worry about any trouble in this area. Any trouble in this area. Fuck off. Wow, so this is what a G3-run city looks like. Come on, come on, hurry it up! If you waste my time, I'll break your legs. And your arms. And whatever else you got. So like I was saying, my brother told me Douglas is really into twerking. <laughs> Oh, I hope we don't have to meet Douglas. I've killed a few myself. So, how did mothers? Damn! Can you believe they built all this on the bottom of an asteroid? I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's a good place to hide out. I mean, but yeah. Sweet little organization called Mothers for Violence. And you're Gus is in the house. Under That's right. There's Mothers Against Violence. And like there's all violence. We're a little different. We love violence. And we want more of it anyway. I think mothers may disagree. Let's do it! Whoa, look at that! Look at that! They got they, they're they're fucking dealing with some creebles over there. Dumb fucks. Shit, they just keep coming! Okay, shit, I, I guess let's just kill them all! around that that was violent wait why why am I tired that doesn't make any sense We 
should run as fast as possible at all times and not look at anything around us at all. Wow, a real G3 training facility. Maybe Douglas does the training in person. Would you chill out? They don't need to die. Psst. Hey, hey you, check this out. I got some goop here. You're gonna love it. You can use it as... Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So you, you want some goop, right? Uh, you know what? Yes! How about how about a big fat yes? Let's go. Perfect. Head down the alley there and just, uh, let the magic happen. I guess. Uh, don't, don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell all your buddies about it. I'm the goop guy. I do goop stuff. Oof! Oh my god! Oh gee! Oh my god! Not not what I was thinking it would be. Oh! Oh! This fucking! Oh my god! The smell! Oh my god! I'm gonna fucking throw up. Okay, okay, I'm all right. Okay. Oh my god! Th this better fucking work. Hey, look at you! You're all gooped up. I gotta be honest. It won't last long. It's not the real stuff. So you better be quick. Get in. Get out. Don't stay in there too long. Don't lock the game. Douglas again. This ad is about the torture. Uh, the last one was about joining the G3, but this one is about how... Oh, looky here. We got another gooped-up G3 recruit. Be advised that the G3 cartel is not responsible for any life-threatening injuries you may occur on the... Are you fucking kidding me? They have some whole thing prepared? Shut the fuck up. It's starting. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training, torture, what's the difference, I say? Look to your left, now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate warp-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3, big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. Oh my god, is that... All right, shut you it saw off. that, right? I got torturing to do. That was a Gatlion. Douglas has a Gatlion. We, we, we gotta rescue her. Jesus, these fucking Merkeloids. Well, fuck, here we go. I, I, we shit, go. I hope it's not too difficult. What's going down? Where'd you go? I was supposed to... Buddy, I guess we're all done. Oh, okay. You beat all the weak guys. Easy. Really easy. I'm gonna do the obstacle course. Oh, okay. Okay, you know what? It looks like some simple platforming, you know, like what you'd see in like Lucky's Tale on uh you know or um you know that one uh that one game that we that we all know and love Mario Land or whatever You're not gonna 
impress me if you if you if you get through this because it's pretty simple oh god uh, <laughs> i have a pacemaker one zap would kill me okay l let's just get this over with please really you got hurt you know, that that looked like it should have been easy stop messing up Fuck it, get that fucking jump! God damn, that was a little that, that we we made it. Congratulations, that was a tough show. So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right, you have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve, so just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. Uh, okay, there's no way we're waiting a full hour. Okay, thank God. Okay, let, let's ditch this whole recruiting bullshit thing. Okay, well, there goes that bootleg goop. Uh, I guess that didn't last for very long. Oh my god, hello! Thank god you're here! My name's Dr. Jupy. Douglas kidnapped my whole family, and I'm trying to sneak in and save them. But I just can't get through these pipes in the next room. Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Hey, whoa, whoa, l l listen, little guy. We're trying to find Douglas, too. You know, maybe we can help each other. God, I'm so worried I'm gonna, gonna throw up. You really helped me? Oh, gee, I'm, I'm so grateful. Follow me! You gotta connect these pipes for me so I can get through and save my family. Hey, don't worry. This is a classic textbook puzzle situation. I think me and my bounty hunter partner can figure this one out. Don't you? Wow! You did it! You got the door open! Listen, I'll never forget this. You're my personal hero. Oh, come on! You're too, you're too kind. It, it was easy. Oh, did you say you're heading to find Douglas too? His office is that big building up on top of Dregtown. Uh, there's a zip line just past here that'll take you right to him. Huh. Well, all right then. I, I, I hope the guy gets his family back. Job. Congratulations, recruit. Now, uh, I don't know. Fight some more guys. What?
up with the bad guys. on joining the G3 or whatever. I really can't stress enough how little I give a shit. Now report to your commanding officer and we'll send you off to die fighting for us on whatever dumbass planet we decide. See ya. doesn't kill them. I can feel my wife Plenty calling for me. You're gonna solve this one too. Thank you. Oh, Plenty and the kids are probably so scared without me. I hope Douglas isn't torturing them right now. Don't want to rush you, but I'm getting nervous. <laughs> amazing! Amazing! You did it again! Douglas's office isn't too far from here. I'm going on ahead. I'll see you there! Jesus Christ, Douglas is gonna kill Dr. Jupy. Look at look how weak and, and cute Dr. Jupy is. Forget about it. This is an 
urgent announcement. This sector has temporarily been designated as a mother's for and against violent zone. That means there's probably just going to be a lot of violence. An intruder has... Hey, been... it's an asshole who's been fucking with our training exercise! Oh, shit, here we go! You know, I, I guess I don't. I don't know. It's I, I, I'm I, I'm I'm conflicted on it. It's rough. This is it. Douglas is right beyond this door. Can you help me out one last time? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, huzzah. Please, Froopy, Froopy, here I come. Here we go. Oh, you're so good at these. I wish I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? can do it! Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy! I'm really, really trying not to think about my wife's body being ripped in half by one of Douglas's torture devices, and it's not working, to be honest! that if my family is dead, I'm going to kill myself and join them in the afterlife. Don't talk me out of it. This is what love does to a person.
Don't feel bad if it takes you a while. It's tough, right? stupid right about now. He was fucking with us. We got played. Look at us. We got played. We fell for it. Damn it. Some very nice, choppable flesh, actually. It was actually very nice. Oh, ha! All right, dipshit, let's go. What? No hello, nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Sweetie, thanks so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian. Smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, Bumpus, I'm pretty good. It's Garmentuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good, Douglas. Not good. I'm gonna need you on top of your game now that we You wanna over fuck these guys up? We're spread thin water. Not to mention all over the galaxy. You wanna know my real hat trick? My crystal stick in the back. Things are happening, Douglas. Get them real hard. Get your fucking nuts.
You can use that to detonate my smaller crystals. So just blast some normal shots, then finish them off with my super crystal. You got that, dipshit? See what else this time bubble can do? Great! Perfect! Now hurry and cross before it wears off! You're in rough shape, bounty hunter! Look, my time bubble can only do so much. You're gonna have to pick up the rest of the quick! Cross fast! The time bubble doesn't last forever, you know! Incredible, right? What a thrill. You know, you can use that time bubble on the G3, too. And try loading the bubble up with my crystals. Then you'll see why I'm the best Gatlian. <sighs> We're gonna make a good team. I can feel it. Just listen to everything I say and never use the other Gatlians. My so what's next? You turn in the bounty somewhere? Go do that. We can wrap this up. Cha-ching, mother... Fucker! one's down, huh? Great work. <laughs> but, uh, hey, there's something you should see. Take a look after your tourney. Go! Go, Jennifer! Go! 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 Jennifer! Alright, good. Get over here. Go! 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 Check this out. Hello, Blim City... That's Clug Nugman, Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 right, cartel. Right. Now catch us next bit. But that's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! Incredibly, they've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office. Yeesh, desperate much? Can he even help us? I already told him you'd go. Oh, great. No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Just head through there. Clug's expecting you.
Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. It wasn't really our idea, but hey. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Uh, no. We're Gatlians. Unless you're talking about my personal chauffeur. Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? Yeah, I'm sure the big hotshot politician wants blood on his hands. That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you... You've taken out two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Oh yeah? And how's that? This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Please take a look at this tool! What's the catch? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. Yeah, no shit like we're gonna stop now. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We just like killing freaks. If you want to help, you're more than welcome. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Yo! So, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yep, and he even gave us this weird thing we could save humans with. God damn, you got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Hey, uh, speaking of, we should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordo's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? For real, alien cum? What's wrong with you? I know it's gross, but calm down. My name is Stan, and I sell horrendous amounts of all sorts of alien cum, and we're just gonna have to live with that knowledge together now. I'm not mad, I'm just curious. Do we really look like your typical customers? Sure, look, I have absolutely no idea. I'm shocked to my core every time somebody buys literally truckloads of alien cum from me. 
but they do it all the time. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I've been completely unable to narrow it down to a set of demographic. Grannies, cops, movie stars, politicians, everybody likes my delicious alien cum. I've had every type of weirdo coming up here saying, I like 600 gallons of your absolute highest quality alien cum. And, and, and I say, does it matter which aliens the cum come from? And they say, no sir, it truly does not. I just want some alien cum. No further details needed. So what, what's it gonna be? You want some alien cum or not? Look, I can't believe we're doing this, but let's have some cum. Whoa, look at you. You want some alien cum. I'm so glad you're interested. Look, you caught me on a good day. I'm doing a promo one time off for free alien cum. Take some on the house, and if you like it, just come back and get some more. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting... Okay, you saunter away. Whoa, I wasn't saying what that. Shit. Yo, Mr. Keith, got any jetpacks back there? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Nice. Don't we get a jetpack now? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Oh, way to rip us off. Guess we'll wait. Not like we have a choice. Let's go tell Gene. You're still here? Goodbye. Bounty hunter. That's right, I knew you were a bounty hunter. Glad I'm not the one doing the running. How'd it go? Did you get a jetpack? Kind of. That cheapskate, Mr. Keeps making us wait till he gets it in stock. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? When he's right, he's right. Let's get a cat nap in. This is your bedroom? Okay. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. You know, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I'm, I, I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all of space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Partner, let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Right. Holy shit, this rules! My break show. Oh, check out that landing. God damn! But you, 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 ah, god damn it! All right, one more prank. One more prank. Here we go. Ring, 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 ring. Nice. Well, I got
got to tell you, Gene was right. That is going to come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very... I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even never been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. So sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot, though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He is so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus! Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great! Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. We're all living under the same roof, and that makes us family. And it makes her business my business. I'm the man of the house, so she needs to do what I say. And before anyone accuses me of being a misogynist, yeah, I know I'm a misogynist. We all know I'm a misogynist. That's bad, and I'm working on it. But this is about me being right and your sister being wrong. Listen to yourself. I can make my own decisions. I don't know why you think you're suddenly some father figure to me just because you're crashing on my couch and eating my diary. Oh yeah, I said eating. He's been eating pages out of my diary. So what? My species eats paper. It's delicious. Who gives a shit? I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Thank you! Not that I needed your approval. Oh, fine, yeah. Team up against the depressed paraplegic. I didn't know you were depressed. I mean, I knew you were depressing. Har, har, har. Just clean up, Gene, okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Gary and Jane are up the hill, catch a pail of water, Gary. 